the relationship between the half-life and the decay constant can directly be derived from the decay equation, which I already put up here, which is n of t equals n0 times e to minus lambda t. Lambda is the decay constant, t is the time elapsed, and n0 is the initial amount of material present, and n of t is the amount present after a certain time elapsed. I want to set the initial amount of simply to 1. Then half-life half -life means that this is the time after which half of the initial material is decayed. So which means that this is the amount still present after a certain time, and half-life means only half of the initial material is present, so I can put on here 0 0.0. And what I'm interested in now is the time it took until half of the material decayed. So this is an equation in here which I can solve, so I put on here solve and uh, need to indicate what parameter I want to solve, which is t, and then I get the result. So t equals, and this t now is the half-life, because this is the amount, uh, this is the time it took until half of the initial material decayed. So t equals then this number here divided by lambda. Now this number here, which I quickly copy down here, so this is um, t half equals this, now this number up here is the natural logarithm, which is called log in Mathematica, of 2. And I need to put this in like here, so I get a number. So you can see this is the same number. I could increase the precision and you would see this is the same number as this one here. So the relationship means, and let me write it more typical, the natural logarithm, so the half-life is the natural logarithm of 2 divided by lambda, so divided by the decay constant. Or I could write the decay constant here, and this is the same relationship. So the decay constant lambda equals the natural logarithm of 2 divided by the half-life. So this is the relationship between these two, which can be readily derived from the decay equation.